Okay, so I thought I'd go through developing a film from start to finish. And I've got two different types of developers to show you. Um, these ones are actually both what they call single shot developers. So you get developers like ID11 where you mix up a litre and then you can develop 10, say 10 films, but you have to change the time of the development. Uh, this is called Xtol. And these five, it's basically five litres and I've mixed them all down um, from the powder and there's two parts, you put the two parts together and then um, you, you, as they store them in these like drums. The other one I've got is a uh, Rodinol, Rodinol, Rodinol. And uh, this is another single shot developer where you basically mix down, you say dilute it one to 50, one to 25, depending on what the actual film is. The film I'm gonna to develop today is T-Max 100. Um, but there's another reason I bought this, which I'll talk about in a second. But um, I've never used Xtol before myself. It's the first time, so it'd be interesting for me to see how this develops. Um, using a film I shot when I was, you'll see that in the next video after this one, so I won't go into too much detail about what this is, but it's quite, quite fun. Um, you need like a, um, a drum to develop. This is a Patterson's tank. And you can do two, in this one, you can do two 35 mil films in. So, here's a little tip. When you've finished the film, and if the film isn't an auto wind, where it auto winds back into the spool, always remember to leave the, the tail out because it's easier then to load into the actual uh, tanks and the actual spirals because what happens is you, you've got to break open the canister to get in to this to do it, and it's just easier to do it straight from here. And that's what I've done. I've managed to stop it from winding all the way back in because it was a manual wind back. Okay. The interesting part that's going to do, which will be done in another video, is I've got this film here and it's called Super Positive. It's actually a black and white film, so it's not a it's not a positive. It's it's, it's basically a black and white slide film that runs at 0 0.8 ISO and it develops norm in normal chemicals. Now the chemicals I normally have, I didn't get, couldn't get development times from, but I could for the X-Toll, and hence why I bought some X-Toll, because I'm going to be taking this film and developing it in a few weeks. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the film loaded, and then I'm going to use some developer and the tank, and I've not made up my fixer yet. I'm going to make up my fixer in between talking to you. So, you'll see me back in a minute or so. So, developing a black and white film has three processes, a develop, a stop, and a fix, or a wash, and a fix. You can use a stop bath. Um, I tend not to, I just tend to run the film under the water, under the water and then put the fix in. Um, this FX30 is a relatively cheap fixer. You can dilute it to one part to nine parts water or one part and to four parts water, which I do. So I use 200 mils to make a litre and then I store it and I use it quite a few times, multiple times, um, probably I don't know, probably six or seven times before I change it. I've never had it not fix anything, so, but I didn't want to go to the point where I'd have to quickly mix up some fresh fixes to fix something because of the because problems I've had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this developer to this right temperature. I'm going to get the film loaded, and when I've done that, I'll, get, I'll come back to you and you can see where we are from there. Okay, just before I go into the dark, I just wanted to explain what the spiral was and how the film loaded. Basically, there's an entrance like slot for the film to go in. There's a couple of ball bearings. And then what you do, when the film is hooked on, and this is why you do this so you don't have to break open the canister, you can actually do this in light. And then when you're in the dark room, you basically do this uh, movement and it rolls the film onto the spiral. And then you have to put that on the, um, I don't know what that's called, but the center pin, I'll call it. And then that goes in there and you put the other one, because I've got two, you put that one on top. And then last of all, you've got the lid, which then locks on top as well. And there's another plastic lid that can go on the top. And then we've also got the agitator. So I agitate the actual film. I do it every, 10 seconds in every minute. And I'll explain where I get the um, development times for in a second. Okay, just quickly, um, the actual developing pouch gives you the developing times for T-Max um, and almost got caught out because there was an older emulsion of T-Max and they've still got the development times on it for that as well. And it's slightly different to the newer one or the newer emulsion. So I found which one I want to develop to seven and a half minutes 
Now, there's a website called the Massive Development Chart, and you can get just a huge array of different developing times and chemicals types and film types on there. That's where I normally head to to find out the information, but obviously, because it's a Kodak developer, which is called Xtol, the information's here as well. But I would recommend that you use the, the Massive Dev Chart. And they've got a new app that's just come out, which is really, really good. And I'm gonna be buying it myself shortly. Okay, so I'm out of my darkened cubby hole and the film is now in the tank. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some Xtol. I'm using it as stock rather than mixing it or, or, or diluting it even more by making it a one part to one part. Because I've never used this before and because I've mixed it for the first time, I wanna make sure that it's the right it's right before I start doing things like dilutions and things like that. So it needs to be at 20 degrees. It is room temperature here is 20 degrees. It's wonderful, so it's perfect. Um, so now I've got to measure out um, 200 and I think it's 290 mils for this for a 135 mil film. And then I'm going to pour it in and start a development process. Okay, so I've got my 300 mils, 290 mils of developer. The fixer's waiting to, going to wait to go in afterwards, but I will wash it before the fixer goes in. Uh, it's a seven and a half minute development time. You, there's, no, there's no point in hanging around for this. We'll skip a bit past this, but you'll see for the first, I think it's about the first 30, 40 seconds, I tend to agitate it up to a minute, and then it's a 10 second agitate every minute. Some people do it a different way to this. This is the way I do it. I've never had any problems. So anyway, here you go. So I start the timer like so. Um, pour um, the developer in like so and then I just start agitating it now you can put a, there's a plastic lid that goes on this and you can do inversions and, and twists and things like that um, I used to do that and sometimes if the lid's not on right you tend to get a soak in of the chemicals which isn't good so I've decided to do it this way instead um, anyway so I'll see you again when I put the fixer in. Okay, so I thought I'd just show you rinsing out and literally all I do is I run some water through it and then I just tip it out and then rinse it again. Now, if you're using a stop bath, it's slightly different because what you would do is you put the stop bath in, you'd agitate it, it'd only take about 20, 30 seconds if that, perhaps a minute. And then what you do is you, you re, reuse that because it starts off a, like a, a, a wee yellow colour and as it gets old it actually turns uh, like a purpley colour and it, that's when you stop using it. So um, anyway, I'm going to fix the film now and then you'll see me take it out in a few minutes. All right. Okay, so it's ready for the fixer and I use a little... I don't exactly measure this up because it's literally going to be resaved. It's not a tip away. So I literally need to just put the fixer in, agitate it. And it takes, um, I think it's about three minutes and a one to four, two or three minutes and a one to four. I tend to do it for about four minutes just to be on the safe side. And then I just basically resave that. And another good tip is, and the fun thing is, is I've never had this problem. I'll probably have it today knowing me, but they say to tap the bottom of, a, of, the, of the tank to release air bubbles. Now, I've never, in the times I've developed films, going back to the 1980s when I first started doing developing, um, I've never had air bubbles or, um, in my developer at all or when a film's developed. I've had other problems like emulsions lifting, and things like that, but not I've not had this uh, where they, they get like bubble marks on the actual actual film, but we'll see. So, did the film come out? So it's washing now, and if I pull it up, you'll probably see. Hold on, oh, let's get my hand in there. Yeah, it's developed, and it's probably too close for you to see, but there are actually negatives there, so it's developed properly. But there's a little bit of a secret behind this film and why I shot it, so, You'll see that in another video and um, quite an interesting thing. All right, speak soon guys, thanks. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, ask questions, anything you like. Cheers.